Hey everybody, today we're going to do another builds video, and this time it's going to be focused on Mesa. Uh, Mesa is a Warframe that gets a lot of play uh, for a few very specific reasons. Uh, her damage scales really, really well in that she keeps attacking faster in her four the longer she's in it, so she's used a lot in um, defenses that want to go a long time with like corrosive projections and such uh, to just kind of murder everyone in a huge radius around her. Or just shush. Uh, so, uh, I have two builds for Mesa. One of them is generally used for defenses and survivals where you're just going to camp it out uh, and you have other frames that are supporting you, like Frost or Trinity, uh, just to keep you alive. Uh, and we will look at that build second. Uh, the first build is kind of an all around build for just general use as Mesa, uh, in that it can run pretty much any mission and it is very self-sufficient and that's the first one we're going to be looking at uh, note that this is without any forma uh, with forma which I will talk about in a while uh, I would change this build significantly obviously unlocking the Exilus slot makes a lot more things possible with this build so the basic concept of this build is that you want to use all of your powers pretty much all of the time and you want to get the most out of your powers that you can. So you have over 200% duration. Now the reason for that is because Shatter Shield is one of the strongest defensive abilities in the game. With just Intensify, and no negative power strength, obviously, uh, you get 95% damage reduction from ranged attacks. Now, ranged attacks are pretty much like all you're going to be facing, so Generally, you just have to be careful against Infested, not letting them get close to you, obviously. Uh, Mesa is not as good against Infested as she is against other factions. That's just kind of the crux of Shatter Shield. Uh, even though she is able to kill tons of Infested very, very quickly. Against ranged enemies, she's very, very effective because Shatter Shield will not only reflect damage, uh, it will also protect you from damage. And that makes it a very, very strong skill and means the potential health of Mesa is actually really, really high, even though her stats on like armor, or health, and shields would be like, oh, well, this frame's kind of squishy. Uh, it actually turns out that she's pretty hard to kill when you do it right. Uh, and by having that 95% reduction, you get that hard to kill. Uh, the other thing in this build is Constitution. Uh, most of the reason that I'm using this is because the power duration is nice, but like at the point where I'm over like 150%, it starts to become less meaningful. But being able to get up faster is really important for Mesa because being knocked down is the way that you you would normally die. I would say probably 90% of the time is being knocked down and then being unable to like get up and do something about the enemies around you. That's kind of the crux of that. Uh, mobilize is purely just for mobility. Uh, later, I will talk about this. It would just get moved to the Exilus slot, provided I had that on Mesa. Uh, this is the build that I'm using, with no extras added besides the reactor in her, obviously. Uh, energy Siphon, obviously for your energy generation and being able to use your abilities as much as possible. Uh, you have max efficiency. Again, use your abilities as much as possible. Uh, and you have half range. Now, the important thing to note about Mesa is that most of her abilities don't give half a shit about range. Uh, her three, I believe it's like a reflect distance or something along those lines that range affects. I could be like wrong on that. Uh, and then her two's um, disarm distance is affected by that. But her two is probably her least important ability. So we're not really worried about that. And her four's range is unaffected by power range. So you're getting the most you're gonna get out of that regardless of how long your range is. So this build basically just takes everything that you want to do as Mesa and just makes all of it better uh, to varying degrees. So uh, let's do like a high-end Sarah's mission uh, to kind of show off the way that this works. Uh, also, it's important to note uh, weapons that complement the style that Mesa plays in is that when enemies get close to you, you want them to die right now. So with the recent shotgun buff, Turns out that having a weapon that can instant kill a large majority of uh, enemies that you would come across is really nice. So the Tigress, the Heck, uh, usually my preferred is the Heck, but I actually think that the Heck might be a little 
Um, the ha just having the heck, I think, on any frame might make it too easy to just solo the mission I'm planning to do. Uh, so I've taken the Tigris, which has more of a downside of needing to reload more often, uh, because the heck has very many advantages, such as healing you, which I've chosen another way to portray that, so you're not like kind of pigeonholed into just using a weapon that bursts to heal. I'm also going to be leveling the Twin Kirkatas. Usually, obviously, I would take the Vicor Merlock for more healing potential, because getting your health back as Mesa is generally pretty important because um, your shields are rather low, and through Shatter Shield you will take like slash procs and stuff like that. <clears throat> stuff like that. So your health will get damaged, so you'll want ways to heal. Uh, and the way in this build that I have specifically chosen as a uh, way to heal is the Dragon Nakana with Life Strike. Uh, this is probably personally my least favorite way to heal as Mesa because it puts you in the melee range where your shadow, sh shadow eh, shatter shield isn't really helping you but it's also the most versatile way to use kind of whatever weapons you want and then also still be able to heal yourself and you'll mostly use it in safe situations so that's what I've chosen to show off um, usually like I said I would be using a Vacor Marlock and a Heck both of which have healing bursts which are very very effective uh, at complementing the way Mesa plays generally, but let's kind of just get into it. Uh, also, being able to move really fast with Mobilize is so nice. Uh, so we will be doing <clears throat> Vedic and exterminating some Grenier. Alright. Oh, good. I don't have to go down the uh, super long hallway. Yeah, but generally, you will obviously want to gather some energy at the beginning if you can... And then once you see enemies, pop your Shatter Shield. Uh, with this build, it lasts quite a long amount of time. Also, you're immune to that because of your reflective nature. Uh, your gun is usually what's going to be taking care of those enemies. And then your four is your room clearing ability. Oh, shit, I miss. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, also, activating your 1 can be good for taking out larger enemies. Your 2 is a damage boost, so it's it's fine to activate, and you'll like you'll get use out of it, especially solo. Uh, whenever you're with teammates, it actually moves between enemies. Uh, oops. Stay away. Uh, also, when an enemy's getting close to you, specifically when you're solo, is whenever uh, her 2 is like really, really good. And an important thing to point out with her 4... Uh, it shoots faster the longer you're in it, but also you need line of sight to a certain degree. If you have seen the enemy within a like specific amount of time, you'll kind of shoot around walls and stuff with it, um, or through rather, I suppose. But it generally is great in big open spaces or like tons of enemies down a long hallway, and it does. A hefty amount of damage. Keep in mind this is only with 30% more power strength, so not even very much more, and it is least effective in this type of scenario. Uh, also one of the wonderful things about it is that you can kind of pop in and out of it super fast, so you can use it interspersedly. Also my Shatter Shield was off for like one second and I took a ton of damage, so you can see that difference kind of immediately. Okay, so let's get some of that health back. Which should be relatively easy, especially solo. Like I said, uh, the two shines quite well whenever uh, you want to get in close with enemies. Like, these guys are all stunned. I can kind of just clean them up uh, nice and easy that way. Uh, it's, as a solo frame, I think Mesa is very, very strong uh, in the vein of Ash. Uh, most people don't really seem to like to use her this way because she's mostly for running Draco and doing other stuff like that. Uh, you do have to watch your shield and make sure you're re-upping it when it goes off, uh, which is something that I've had trouble with in the past, and it does take some getting used to. Ooh, a prosecutor. Fun, fun. Also being able to do things like that in large open areas. Also, prosecutors are very resistant to damage, but see, I can I can still get some, some good damage in. Uh, obviously... For enemies like that, 
or high tier heavy gunners, you would want to um, use weapons like the Tigris, like the Hack, weapons that can still kill those absurdly tanky enemies just whenever you need to be able to do that, which is why I prefer shotguns with Mesa at this point. Uh, it used to be previously that I would prefer weapons like the Boltor that just do like really, like Boltor Prime, that just do really high amounts of like just raw damage. Uh, and I, I can kind of just let enemies shoot me whenever my Shatter Shield is up, uh, and it really won't do much to me, even though these enemies are like level 31. Like, ro like Rocket Man, uh, I'll need to get rid of because AoEs still affect me. But just general, generally, it's it doesn't affect me too overly much. Yeah, keep in mind, uh, explosives are still dangerous to Mesa and um, close range attacks, so, or melee attacks specifically, are still very effective on Mesa. So you would want to watch out for that. Uh, which isn't really as much of a downside as it just makes Mesa more interesting to play, I would say. Also, an interesting thing you could do is you can uh, use your 4 while floating. Uh, this is kind of like a new thing with Parkour 2.0 being out, but like if you do your um, aim glide, you can... Oh, somebody locked the doors. That's why they're not coming. If you do your aim glide, you can be in your four in the aim glide, which is a really safe way to do it whenever you're playing solo. All right, enemy. Are you just, you were just a dumbass, aren't you? Oh yes, and uh, showing off her one. Uh, her one stores damage that you do, and then you could activate it again in order to put all of that damage into your next shot. Uh, which is actually pretty good, uh, especially if you're using like a rapid-fire weapon. Uh, the amount of damage you can store up is pretty significant, uh, and it allows you to deal with um, enemies you might not be able to deal with regularly at uh, a significantly earlier time than you might think. Uh, that is whenever your weapons might not be as good. I'm going to reactivate that and re-up my shield. Uh, your one also builds damage even when you're using Peacemaker. I'm pretty sure it takes any damage that you do and stores it. You're an Xmas, right? Yeah, that counts as a ranged attack. I blocked like all of that. Shoot me. Just a... Oh, I jammed his gun with my two. Oh, well. Uh, yes. So, the interesting thing about Mesa is that this isn't the way that most players, I would say, play as Mesa. But Mesa can be, like, a very defensive frame. Uh, and having your two move between your teammates, uh, while sort of a downside that it doesn't stay with you and also give a bonus to your teammates, which I think would be kind of a nice quality of life improvement and would um, maybe incentivize Mesa players to kind of build more towards that and Shatter Shield... Uh, Mesa can be played as a very defensive frame, just in general mission running, uh, along with her uses in defense. Yes, Prosecutor Shield Auras. I'm mucho scared. That would have hurt. Alright, Kappa Beacon. And obviously... Bunch of enemies down the long hallway. That stuff is very useful. Oh, also, uh, something that's kind of important to note. Uh, with Bombards, because of your Shatter Shield, Bombard Rockets actually bounce off you. So if, like, if it's not a Napalm, like, Bombard Rockets will just bounce right off your shield. So you can actually make sure that they hit you at an angle where they, were, they will bounce off harmlessly or back towards... I hit the wrong button there, but that worked out. Uh, back towards the enemies... And you can kind of um, use that as like kind of a more advanced way to do it. Uh, generally, I don't worry too much about it. More prosecutors. Hey, prosecutors just can't handle it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, you can you can really get a lot of use out of Mesa, provided you 
utilize her, all of her abilities. This is a really long, like, version of this uh, exterminate. Although I am moving a bit slow. Obviously, Mesa can do this quite fast whenever you are focused on killing everyone, I guess. So, uh... Oh, Shatter Shield came down. Yes, but, like, look how little damage, like... I'm taking slash damage right now, which is, as I said before, it's a main source of damage. But I'm reflecting a lot of this damage, and I'm taking very, very little. Like, he's taking more damage, and he's putting slash procs on himself. So it, it's very good. But because of the slash procs that I take on, uh, it's good to be able to get my health back. Yes, and then after this, I will show uh, what is kind... It's not perfect, but it is what I use when I need to be turret Mesa. Uh, generally, that type of build takes Forma, uh, as would an ideal version of this build. There's an enemy behind me. Enemies, you just don't give up. Oh. Shadow Shield went down. See, I gotta keep gotta keep track of that. That's the Actually, you know what? I want you to shoot me. I want you to shoot me with Shatter Shield. Rocket's bouncing off pretty harmlessly. Sniper, I need you to shoot me because you do a lot of damage. I, I know that you have a significant amount of damage in you there. Where's the ballista at? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Yeah, see that? That the ballista shots, which a lot of frames will just die from. You know what? She, she hit me with that and you saw it did, I would say, 20 damage. Let, let's take an actual, like, a ballista shot. Without my shield. Hit me. You, you have to hit me, ballista. Excuse me, can I can you hit? Ma'am, I'm standing still. Come on. Is this the most effective strip? Are you hitting? Can you? Babe. Come on. Do me do me a favor. Is this real life? I'll move closer. Hit me. Is that hitting right in front of you? I honestly don't know what's wrong with this ballista. You know what? You're getting the pepper. Alright. So, um, I attempted to show that off, but apparently that enemy's accuracy was so low that it put its bullets in another dimension. Um, yeah. Generally, like, that 20 damage, uh, just multiply that out to equal 100% instead of 5%, and you get how much damage it would roughly do to me. Uh, which I'm fairly certain would be almost, it would almost kill me, I think, actually. Yeah, instead of that, I took, like, 20, maybe a little less damage. Work, oh, wow. It's actually a lot of beacons. Yeah, that is the general use Mesa build, and that is useful uh, Voids, T4. I would say if you were doing public groups where you're not 100% sure on the quality of um, the other players in a group, you could even go into like public groups of defense. Like Obviously, whenever you have a planned group, you can do a more specialized build, which is what I'm about to show. Um, but this build right here is just generally really good it's just a, it's a tough build that is like you still get your damage and what you kind of want on a peacemaker at like a large majority of the levels uh, but you also get the ability to f like get into the fray and fight a bunch of dudes which lasts a long time so before i move on 
I'm gonna say, if I were to perform under this frame, what I would do. And also, unlock the Exilus. So, unlocking the Exilus, obviously, I move Mobilize up top. That's kind of a no-brainer for me. Uh, and then, these last two slots, because you have... How do I want to word this? Because you have kind of already what you want with these eight mods, those two extra slots can be used in a number of different ways. Uh, one is to put a redirection and vitality there, which is a totally acceptable choice, and that's fine. Uh, another choice is flow and quick thinking, which makes you tanky while also giving you a larger energy pool uh, to work with whenever you need to be in Peacemaker for a long period of time. So that's kind of the advantage there to that stuff. Uh, there are you could even you could bump up fleeting, bump up street uh, streamline, both of them to max, uh, and then put in put in like a rank two blind rage uh, to get even a little more strength out of it, uh, and then use the other slot for maybe a handspring, something along those lines uh, that's more utility based while still getting like some more strength in there. Uh, you can increase your effectiveness in some fairly minor ways by adding the forma in uh, it's not necessary by any means but you will get something out of it especially if you really enjoy how mesa plays of course you want it to be as good as it can be but let's look at turret mesa or my variation on turret mesa so the basics of this is that you want as much strength as you can possibly get while also being at max efficiency so you can stay in your four a long long time Okay, so a couple things. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm almost certain. Yeah, uh, I did not pick up Prime Flow when it was available. Uh, you would, you would like if you were to like want to specifically build for this. Uh, you would want to Forma and then slot in Prime Flow for a ton of power max, just for obvious reasons. Uh, and that would be a thing that you would do. You would finish maxing out Transient Fortitude. I have it two off from the top because that requires almost no work to get to uh, and just putting in the extra credits and cores is not super worth it to me as someone that doesn't use a lot of builds that utilize transient fortitude uh, and then you have a max intensify a rank 2 blind rage max streamline max fleeting uh, max flow uh, and then I use the last remaining points as kind of a utility slot uh, where I like to put in handspring because getting knocked down is the death of you in the more defensive build, so it is the super death of you in this build. Uh, again, there are a number of ways you can kind of tech that. Like I would say, using enemy sense, that's not a bad option. Knowing where enemies are when they're close to you is fine. Um, like there are a lot of different little tweaks you can make to this, uh, but generally, uh, you max transient the rest of the way, and then this is kind of a whatever slot, and then these other mods are what you use, and then in a long mission like that, you are using corrosive projection. Uh, but this is generally the build, just two more points into transient fortitude, and then kind of whatever right here. And this build is one of the reasons where people like to decry that Mesa's OP, and it's like, no, well, Mesa is, makes the game less fun or some ridiculousness like that where Mesa is like trivializing things. Uh, I do not think that's true at all uh, because A, you need a very specific build that needs to be supported by other frames. At the point where you have strategized out, they're like, oh, we need a Frost and we need a Trinity and then Mesa will be our damage dealer and then, then this person does this, like Loki will disarm them and then they'll all be disarmed and Mesa can shoot them real good. Like, at that point, like, a strategy should be good, and it should be OP in some, like, way, fashion, or form, because that is why you build like that. So, that's kind of the, um, bad side of what people think about Mesa, is that it's like, well, this, she's only for this one thing. She's really not, as I showed with this build, which is a lot more active and a lot more, uh, general mission-focused, and... How you play is very very different uh, this is kind of the like what is kind of a mindless mesa uh, where you're just letting trinity give you energy like at the beginning of a defense round 
or in the middle of a survival and then you shoot a bunch of dudes for a while and then you're out of energy and then you're like hey trinity can i get some of that energy goodness and then trinity gives you energy again and then you're shooting more dudes and it's kind of that con that uh loop of what you're doing with this build uh, obviously i don't want to show that because that is like oh let's go do an hour and a half run of survival or defense tier four with all our corrosive projections and while that's fine uh may i don't like to use mesa that way i prefer frames that can be very active while doing stuff like that which is more in the vein of um like excalibur uh and then the way i play for aust and some stuff like that uh, so she's not my preferred to use her this way, but for a lot of people, Draco runs, things like that, um, she is used in this way. And you have 200% power strength, and you have like your max efficiency still, and it's just for shooting dudes. Uh, but I think this is the uh, good build. Also, it's worth noting, uh, because Energy Siphon and uh, Corrosive Projection are both giving you the same amount of power, you can swap them uh, in or out on either build. Uh, so if you want to do super high level stuff and it's like, we need corrosive projection, or you're going to the raid and it's like, well, we need another corrosive projection if you want to get in on this raid here, Mesa. You can still swap it between energy siphon and corrosive projection, and there's no change to either build that you need to make because their polarities are the same, which is quite nice. Uh, so, uh, I think that kind of wraps up what all I wanted to say about how to build Mesa and kind of how Mesa is used in the um, current meta. Because I would say that Mesa is definitely like an A rank frame that definitely has a place, has like a purpose or two, uh, you know, like a lot of different scenarios and is helpful to the team in a lot of different ways. And also like works her way into like niche builds, which is more of like turret Mesa. Uh, but yeah. That is kind of what I wanted to um, get across with Mesa. Uh, also, on the um, on the second build, uh, formaing any more than to get Prime Flow, uh, you could add in Quick Thinking so that you have a way to survive damage with your energy uh, instead of just dying in the event that your team cannot uh, do their end of the deal and protect you or if you fuck up and make a mistake uh, so yeah forming more and throwing in a quick thinking with a prime flow is also a possibility for that build but i think that's all i really wanted to say about mesa she is a really versatile frame with a lot of like fun synergistic abilities uh, that actually mod out really really well uh, and scale pretty well into the late game. 95% damage reduction is nothing to scoff at, even when enemies are like level 100. Uh, so, there you have it. And uh, I will see you guys next time.